A lot more goes into getting these shots than people realize. I'd say it's been probably three or four years since I started. I was a freshman at Georgetown and I was just very much into food, very much into like being artistic and like channeling that creative side. I was in the business school and a lot of num school, a lot of school. nope, a lot of numbers, a lot of business, and so I needed like a creative outlet. Um, so I made an Instagram. I started posting food photos like once every couple weeks. I want something that's gonna grab people's attention. Yeah. Um, so I came up with DC Food Porn. Well, food porn does. I mean, it I, immediately <laughs> grabs your yeah. I mean, I, when I told people I was gonna do this story, I, I slightly blushed with, at the name. Yeah. But I guess you want people to. That's the point. Yeah, you want people to remember it. Justin, can you give me a, a quick tutorial? I want okay. to take the most beautiful picture of this creme brulee yogurt. Um, I was gonna go at it from this angle. I would do it from the top. Your spoon has to strategically place everything, and then I would do it like straight above. This is how it winds up on my Instagram feed. That's how the magic happens. I mean, I eat almost every meal out at least twice a day. Um, most of those I'm taking photos and posting, so it's it's a lot. I'm always working and I'm never working. That's always like yeah. what I say. What is the yolk factor? I think it's it's food porn. It's like it's moving. It's active. It sort of gets you puts you in that moment. Like if you're sitting and looking at a screen and just looking at this bowl, looks good, but when you see that yolk moving, you can kind of really feel like you're in that moment. People just, I mean, I love it, it too. Like yeah, it just, porn. yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, it's food porn. And I have to sort of give people what they want to see, yeah. How did you go about accumulating a following? Because an influencer is nothing without people who care. Right, and the hardest part is the beginning. Like, I always tell people if I started off right now, like, it would be really tough. Like, I started DC Food Porn when Instagram was pretty new. Like, there weren't that many food accounts out there. So, like, yes, you had to be posting good content, but the competition was not what it is today. So, like, as a marketing major, I was always looking at, like, how are people reacting? I read every single comment, every single message people send me. Like, I'm not one of those people that posts and leaves my phone. Like, I watch it, I track it and use that to help me like for my next post. How often do you get called up by somebody to say, or not called, I guess we're in the internet age, right. pinged in some way to say, would you come here? Um, to come to like the restaurant, yeah. I get it a lot. Like my, I have like 20,000 unread emails. Run me through a typical day, and I understand in your life there's probably no typical day. Yeah, but a lot of days I'll have shoots, so I'll like have, I try to set up multiple restaurants in a day, kind of in the same neighborhood, just to make oh, really? my life easier. So just sorting through, picking my favorites, editing them, figuring out when I'm gonna post them, what the caption's gonna be, all of that. Uh, on top of that, posting every day. Sure, and thinking of a caption. Thinking of captions, and then trying to figure out how to make money, because I'm doing this full time, so sending emails to brands and pitching people. If somebody is out there and wondering, how could I get that job, or more, accurately create that job. Right. What are some basics? First thing I always say is you have to like have the passion for it. So don't do it because you want the cushy lifestyle of being an Instagram influencer. Because if you're not passionate about the content you're posting, you're gonna be miserable. And you're not gonna get followers, you're not gonna be successful. So definitely like finding that type of content. Like I love DC, I love food. It's about expectations and just kind of it's not gonna happen overnight, and that's sort of, I got lucky that I did this while I was in school, so I, I didn't have the pressure of needing it to happen overnight. So it was a little bit of a hustle at first, and it still is, but um, it was cool to know that like I was working for myself post-graduation. Do you ever get shy you know, being kind of well-known? Yeah, I mean, I never started this with the intention of it being anything more than a hobby. And like, even as it started to grow, and I've been posting, like. I got very used to being behind the camera. I didn't really post photos of me for a very long time until it got to a point where people actually were asking, like, we want to see pictures of you, we want to know more about you. Um, and so I started to do it, and now I'm at a point where, like, people from other cities are following me, people know what I look like. Like, it's, it's changed a lot of it, and I think it's just something I have to get used to. It's